Hello everyone and welcome back to the Unexplored Mojave. Today we're going to be looking at the California Sunset Drive-In. This is a location next to Prim. Now I was actually exploring Prim for another video when I stumbled across this location. And this is a location that I was not familiar with and just something I kind of stumbled upon and was able to investigate on my own. When I started this series, and we're over 90 episodes now which is incredible, but when I started this series, this is kind of what I envisioned, where I would just find random locations in the Mojave and just kind of introduce my experience there. So let's check out the California Sunset Drive-In. So as you can see here on the map, this is literally right next to Prim, just southwest of Prim, and it's actually right on the other side of the NCR encampment within Prim. Now here in the camp, we can actually find some Star Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle caps. You can see next to there on the ground next to all of these bottles, Star bottle caps. There's two of them, which is pretty good, especially for early game. Up here, there is a crashed truck on the side of the road. And I was wondering maybe if this truck was trying to get a view of the drive-in. Doesn't make much sense for the trailer to be really far away then, but... You know, nonetheless, I thought it might be a cool idea that this driver was trying to catch a movie. In the parking lot area, we can see various cars that were probably destroyed when the atomic bombs went off. Now, there actually was an atomic detonation really close to this theater at the Mesquite Mountains Crater. So these people may have been killed by a nuclear explosion. And just over there to the southwest, we can actually see the Mesquite Mountains and the area where the crater is located. Now, I've never actually been to a drive-in theater, so it's kind of just an old relic of 1950s America. Further up the road, we can find this playground, and I thought this was a really weird location for a playground. We have some toy cars, a teddy bear, kind of spooky vibes, honestly. I don't know why I don't like random teddy bears. And then we have this like random shack underneath the mountain. If we go further up, we can find the entrance to the Lonesome Road DLC. And there's also two graves up here where we can loot and get some ammunition. Now, if we head up to the actual entrance to the Lonesome Road DLC, we can find some more loot, but it's mainly just like MREs and some bottle caps and a little bit of ammunition. I did want to say, I was trying to find out if there was actually a drive-in theater in Prim. And it appears there isn't, and I couldn't find anything about there being one a long time ago. So I just think it was added by the developers. However, I did want to say, within the Mojave Desert, there actually is a company that still operates drive-in theaters. So I thought that was pretty cool, because I've never been to a drive-in theater. It's always seemed like a relic of a bygone era to me. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any recommendations for the next episode, please post them in the comment section below. Until next time.